There's few things that get an audio guy as excited as talking about speakers. I'm Joe with Gramophone, and we're here today with Richard, who's the North American Brand Manager for PMC. Richard, how are you? Great, Joe. How are you? Good. Great to see you. Glad to be here. You know, we've at Gramophone just taken on PMC. It's a brand new line for us. We're really excited about some of the things that we're hearing. And my first question for you, Richard, is, you know, this brand was started all the way back in 1991 by two people who had had a lot of experience in the pro audio industry. And as you know, pro is oftentimes has much more exacting standards than consumer. So maybe you can just flesh out the brand story of PMC a little bit for, for our viewers. I'd love to. So back in 91, Peter Thomas decided that he was going to make a better speaker. And at the time, Peter Thomas was uh, the head engineer at the BBC Studios uh, over in the UK. And he wasn't really happy with what he thought they could get out of mixing speakers or pro speakers that do the mixing. So he decided that he would go with his good friend Adrian Loader to invent a new speaker. It was uh, the BB5 line. And they were so good that the BBC said, we'll take them, we'll, we'll put them in our mix rooms. However, you can't double dip, so you have to quit. So Peter Thomas actually quit the BBC and became their big client for all of the speakers that went into the mix rooms. And from there, the company was born. Over 70% of the world's movies and music are mixed on PMC at some point in the chain. And that's certainly really relevant today because all of the new Dolby Atmos music is a joint venture between Apple, PMC, and Dolby. So the new way to enjoy music is to get the Atmos mix. In fact, if you want to be on Apple One Radio, you have to mix an Atmos. PMC is the main speaker brand for people using uh, Atmos to mix for output. I actually had no idea that a part of Atmos, because Atmos, of course, is a huge term in audio now, that, a, that PMC is actually a part of that that construct. So, I mean, we've been used to listening to two channel for how many decades? Yeah. I mean, we go back a bit, right? But it's hard to fit, for example, a 64 piece orchestra in two speakers. Yes. So what Dolby Atmos Music allows you to do is leverage more speakers to broaden the, uh, the sound stage, to broaden the experience of hearing uh, more vibrant, more full, and more immersive experiences with music. And we all know we listen to music because it's so personal, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's, it's an emotional connection. So this just takes it to one step further. Mm -hmm. and, and didn't you tell me that something like four out of five or better of the movies that are out there have been mixed using PMC speakers? Uh, you can find um, there are some studios that mix uh, AR on, on PMC. You'll find composers like Thomas Newman, who did WALL-E, uh, Spectre, Skyfall, um, you know, all of the artisans that create this content, most of them use PMC or in the chain, whether it's sound effects to music to dialogue, use PMC because of the accuracy and the bass extension. Yeah. And while it's not necessarily critical or you know, necessary to have a huge background in the pro audio world. This is one of the things I'm finding out as we listen to music on PMC, that a lot of why these are sounding so good to us is because of all your background in that, in that arena. Well, that's one of the biggest strengths of PMC is not only do they have uh, a lineup that's bespoke for professional uh, content creators, but because of their expertise, they have a lineage now of if it's good enough to create content on in the studio, now they make, or well, they've been making consumer products for years, decades. And it's the perfect mix of, if it's good enough for the studios to use to mix, it's good enough for you to have in your home to hear as close an approximation of what the content creation was. We really appreciate having you along for the ride and sharing our passion for audio and video. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. That helps us out a ton. And go ahead and click that little bell icon so you're always notified of our upcoming content. Yeah, that one. You know, Richard, the transmission line enclosure is something when I was reading about it as a really young guy <laughs> all those years ago, I was realizing this is a fascinating way to build a cabinet because you can actually get better bass out of a transmission line enclosure. They're difficult to build. 
But PMC actually has the advanced transmission line enclosure that is kind of your own thing. Maybe you could just tell our listeners a little bit about the benefits of how and why you, you build your speakers with transmission line enclosures. Sure. So <clears throat> one of the main benefits of a transmission line is it takes the back energy off the drivers, tunes it, and then ports it out what they call the laminar. And in this model, the prophecy, it's the laminar X. It's the next iteration. But there are a few reasons that you want a transmission line. Number one is because you're using the back energy off the speakers, you can port it, it comes out as lower end base. So out of a smaller cavity, uh, cabinet or cavity, you're actually getting deeper, uh, more accurate base than you would by having to add a subwoofer or um, by having a bigger enclosure. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things that you do have to, to know is that it's so much math that goes into, into a transmission line or advanced transmission line for PMC is, is that your speakers, they basically have a, a hollow intestine. So if you do the old school knock test or you pick them up, they're not going to be as heavy and they're not going to sound as dense as others. That's by design. But because of those qualities, you get better bass, more cohesive bass, and your mid-range is a lot better because you can lower the slope. And with the new waveguides on the Prophecy series, now your mid-range comes out of a crosser, uh, crossover network that gives you the whole frequency of dialogue versus having to put a crossover right in the middle of it. I want to go back to the transmission line for a minute, or mm -hmm. PMC's advanced transmission line. Um, it's not just an empty chamber. They use different density foams and different lengths of the advanced transmission line per speaker. It's not like they just get foam and they take off all the frequencies that they want per speaker. It's unique to each speaker. So every speaker is hand touched by mathematics, by physics, and they really do a great job creating what is the best thing I can do, not just for one speaker and we'll apply all. It is mm. each unique speaker is is engineered for the best performance in that size. That's not something you get with with some competitors that they'll just use the same drivers and just vary the size of the box or vary the size of the driver. Every single piece for PMC, in fact, all of their speakers, including their subwoofers, are tra advanced transmission line. They're, they don't make a speaker that doesn't have it. Richard, you referenced where Laminaire and Laminaire X are actually specific to each one of the cabinets. Maybe you could just, again, relate a little bit about the benefits of why you do what you do and, and what even is it. Sure. So when you take that back energy, anytime there's air that moves through a port or through uh, a cabinet, two things can, can occur, distortion and resonance. Mm -hmm. And what happens is as it comes out the port, you can get chuffing or distortion. You don't want that, particularly in bass, because then you lose all your low end advantage. So what the laminar technology is, it's based on airflow. And they looked at the design of F1 for, uh, Formula One race cars mm -hmm. and said, how do we have maximum airflow without distortion or chuffing. Yes. Laminar X is the newest version and, uh, of, of that. And in, in the bottom of every prophecy or the sides of the prophecy center is a new cast aluminum uh, laminar X technology. It's the next step up to provide even less distortion and less chuffing out of the port. So that airflow moves freely. And that's where you get your low end ex lower end extension from. So better lower end extension, less distortion in the base, and less interference with that port noise that can come Correct. out. Correct. And it. because they use laminaire, there wasn't, compared to other speaker brands, they had much less to begin with. But one of the nice things about PMC is they're always looking to improve uh, their lines. They're always looking to improve their technologies. And, and I think the Prophecy line is the latest example of that. Richard, one more thing that I wanted to ask you about. We love when vendors, instead of just exporting all the engineering and design and build and so forth of their speakers to somebody in a faraway land, when a company actually designs and builds in-house the overwhelming majority of their own technologies. So PMC in the UK has a wonderful building. Uh, all of their engineering is in that building. In fact, it's one of the few family-owned companies, second generation. Uh, Oliver Thomas is Peter's son. He's the co-CEO. I call him a kid because I'm older. He's not a kid. He's a genius. Um, and for those of you out there, if you ever have the pleasure of meeting him, pick his brain because he, he's forgotten way more about how to design audio than we have. But to get to your point, 
almost everything in this box is curated, engineered, and built by PMC. They don't just put drivers in the box. Everything that they do is designed by PMC, manufactured by PMC, or is contract manufactured for them to their high standards. For example, the Prophecy series has new waveguides, not only for the mid-range, but for the tweeter as well. What that allows them to do is to get more controlled directivity. It opens up the sound stage. Now it's a speaker this small, because remember you get a, a deeper bass out of a smaller package or a, pack, a smaller cabinet, but your sound stage is enormous. Mm -hmm. And with the new waveguides, with the directivity, you can now do things like marry the bass extension to the mid bass, to the mid range, to the vocals, and it's a much more coherent speaker. And all of that is because they control every aspect of the design and as much of the build as they can. I, it, but it's something in the order of almost everything that they've done uh, is done in-house. We so. love it. Richard, I want to thank you for coming along and explaining. I know I've learned a lot about PMC today. And we want to thank every one of you for enjoying this video and coming along with us. We have stores in Columbia and Timonium and Gaithersburg, Maryland. If there's any way you can get in here and actually audition some of the products that we have, we'd love to see you. You can find out more about PMC and all of our fine brands by going to gramophone.com. And you can shop for so many of our products at Sky by Gramophone, where you're always going to get a secure checkout, fast and free shipping straight to your door. Thanks again for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.